In this video, I will utilize Process Runner to create an automation file which will allow me to upload data from an Excel spreadsheet directly into SAP. Here's the Excel spreadsheet. This is going to be for the SAP transaction code CJ20N, Create Project Master. You can see here that I have 11 projects that I want to create, each with their own unique sets of data. It would be extremely tedious to have to upload each of these projects into SAP, navigating SAP view screens as well as drop-down menus. And imagine if this Excel spreadsheet had 100 projects. There's a great potential for error as you have to navigate the SAP views, type in the individual fields for each of these projects. Process Runner will automate the process of uploading the data make this an extremely simple task. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to bring up Process Runner. I'm clicking on New. I'm going to put in my transaction code CJ20N. Click the Start Recording button. I'm going to log into SAP. Now my SAP GUI screen comes up. I'm just going to put Excel in the background, make it easier to type in my data. I'm only going to have to navigate the SAP views and drop down menus for this one row. And once I've finished recording the GUI screens and SAP for this one row, I will have a process file created which will enable me to automatically upload the rest of these projects and their data. Go ahead and click on Project, New, project. Here we have our project definition. In this case it's I forward slash 4414. Now I'm going to my project profile. This is going to be an investment project. From here, I'm going to the Basic Data tab. I'm just going to adjust these screens to make it easier to view and to navigate. Here for the controlling area for the project, I have a thousand. For the company code, again, I have a thousand. My business area for the project is going to be 2,000. And then my plant is going to be 1,300, which I'm just going to manually type in. From here, I'm going to type in my start date, 12-11-2014. My finish date, also 12-11-2014. And then my time unit for this is MON. Or months. And I'm finished with this view. I'm going to click Enter and then Save. And now I've finished the recording process. I'm going to go back into Process Runner. Click in OK. From here, I'm going to map my various fields to the appropriate column. We have the project definition, which is going to come from column A. Project profile from column B. Controlling area for the project, column C. Company code for the project, D. Plant, our business area for the project, E. Plant, F. Project plan start date. Project plan finish date. And everything is set for my mapping tab. Oh, time unit also there of I. Can't overlook that one. All right, now what I want to do is I want to link 
the Excel spreadsheet that I showed you at the start of the video. So I'm going to open this up. I just clicked on the folder there to link to this Excel spreadsheet. And now I'm going to select my start row and end row. If you remember, I had 11 projects that I wanted to upload. So I'm going to go from 2 to 12. Now I'm going to perform a test run of this data. I'm just going to click test run and then run. Notice that that top line says that the project I4414 already exists. That's because I created it when I did the recording of the transaction. So that's, that's to be expected. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this just to keep the spreadsheet nice and clean. Now I'm going to go back into Process Runner and I'm going to go ahead and run the transaction. So you can see that it just in a matter of seconds, I've created uh, 10 projects in addition to the project that I created when I did the recording. Now I've automated the process of uploading projects into SAP from an Excel spreadsheet, saving my company time, energy, and also a lot of employees' sanity. Thanks for listening to this video. Be sure to watch more of our videos to demonstrate the power and capability of Process Runner.